I'm Shanae, and this week, our crazy little family of three will become a family of four. I'm so happy this little dude decided to hang out long enough for his grandma to come be with his big sis while we focus on bringing him Earthside safely. We're soaking up all these last minutes together before life changes forever, and we are grateful to have you along for this beautiful ride. As always, remember to click that subscribe button. Exciting times are certainly ahead. Hey guys, I'm Shanae, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you sweaty and breathless because I'm halfway through a workout at 39 weeks pregnant, and I thought, God, I should grab my camera and start this week's vlog, because I think we're gonna run out of time on this one pretty quickly. Little dude's been making a lot of headway, quite literally, so uh, who knows? He could be arriving any day now. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this workout and then get on with the rest of the day, but now you guys are gonna join us. And so we bake. We're gonna make some chocolate chip blondies. You ready, Bo? Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's our radar today. So it's our radar show. And my name is that time. Bowie's cooking show. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just to try this here. It is time to clear out my maternity wear and donate it and make some room for my postpartum comfy zone. I am definitely gonna be living in pajamas and sweats and comfy clothes for the next <laughs> few weeks, maybe a couple months. So I want to clear out all of my maternity stuff that I will no longer be needing and donate it to someone who will make great use of it. I know that I'm going to be in some pain after this surgery and as I'm recovering and stuff like that. So I just want to make it really easy for myself, show you guys some of the comfy clothes that I got because I wanted it to be cute and comfy. You know what I mean? I don't want to just like throw on a bunch of old stuff that doesn't make me feel good about myself. I'm already going to be in quite a state. I can't believe this little maternity section in my closet is no longer going to be there, but good times ahead. It means I'll have a baby in my arms any day now. <sighs> okay, I've got my little pile of things to be donated that is like strictly maternity and I know I won't wear. I've hung on to a few things that 
are still good for postpartum that are just comfy and loose and whatever. Over here, I have put all of my kind of undergarments for postpartum recovery. That is the biggest thing I remember from recovering from a C-section last time is everything just feeling like all jumbly inside. So it's nice to just feel like everything is um, compressed. Compression underwear is a must, in my opinion, for C-section recovery. It makes it feel so much more comfortable when you're just walking around. And now it's time for my postpartum fashion show. Um, the comfiest fashion show you'll ever see. Shout out to Tommy John, by the way, for making the comfiest PJs and loungewear ever, and also being the sponsor of our video today. This is postpartum uniform number one. It's a no pants party. <laughs> Tommy John does everything from like underwear and sleepwear to just loungewear. This is actually a men's t-shirt that I got from Josh, but I stole because I'm all about an oversized t-shirt and no pants <laughs> when I'm lounging around the house. This underwear is super cute. You can't really see the waistband detail under my bump, but it's lace. Um, and normally lacy kind of underwear is just super uncomfortable and not something I go for, but their materials are so soft, so comfy. And this still makes me feel a little bit, a little bit sexy. You know what I mean? Um, love an oversized tee because it's just comfortable. I can still walk outside take Bowie outside, sit in the rocking chair on our front steps while she's playing with the baby um, without being like inappropriate. <laughs> so breathable, um, perfect for summer because it's still gonna be hot here for a while. So I love this little detail, makes me excited for fall. I'm a plaid lover, guys. Don't you just love plaid? I feel like I need like a pumpkin spice latte. It's way too hot for that though. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> These are so cute. I love a little matching PJ set. I love that kind of old school retro pajama vibe. Love the length of the shorts. I feel like when you wear a matching set, it just makes you feel a little bit more pulled together when you are wearing just PJs, you know what I mean? Ultimately, this is not like an outfit that I would necessarily go out and run errands in, but for around the house and having guests come over to meet the baby and stuff, like this makes me feel really comfortable, but also like I've just put a little bit of thought and effort in. So matching PJ sets are a definite must. Oversized t-shirts with no pants <laughs> and one more vibe are kind of my three staple postpartum uniforms. Last one. Just a really comfy, and cute matching lounge set. This one is again, really lightweight. The materials for Tommy John are the comfiest. I think that I've ever put on my body possibly. <laughs> I can envision myself doing many late night feeds in his rocking chair wearing this outfit. But again, I have a toddler, so I'm gonna be balancing newborn life while still like having to live life, you know, outside of the house with my toddler. So this is perfect for being comfy at home and then going out to do an activity with her, run an errand with her, whatever. As always, comfort is the most important thing, but it still is like presentable, presentable and cute. Like I feel cute in this. I have to go pick up Bo from school in a minute and I'm really cozy right now, so I'm not gonna change. <laughs> but if you guys wanna get 20% off the Tommy John website, do some shopping, get some PJs, loungewear, underwear, whatever you want, um, make sure that you use my code and click the link in my video description. Okay, it's really late at night and I've been having bad cramps, so we're gonna play a little prank on my mom. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I just peed. Oh, fuck. What is that? Okay, I, the water book. Okay. That's all right. Oh. Ah. Okay. What do I do with it? What do you do with it? What are you What are you sniffing it? Oh. oh. Feel that. Oh, do I feel it? <laughs> Oh my god, it's all in my bag so bad. 
Okay. Ooh. It smells funny. Ooh, it just came out of my body. Oh, fuck. For real? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, why have I just been sniffing it? <laughs> I thought you'd still a drink. It's not real. <laughs> you fuckers. You little shit. I'm like, why is he joking with the renner? He's gonna smack him. <laughs> say that that prank was successful but <clears throat> it also kind of bit me in the ass because now I keep having these really bad pains in my ass literally <laughs> I think back labor is a thing that like ties with contractions in your stomach and I'm not really having contractions in my stomach I just feel a lot of pressure right now so I don't <sighs> oh. okay. yeah so I don't know if this is just karma. I started to believe it. <laughs> and was questioning why I'd slap the water in my hand. He like sniffed the water and then I was like in pain because I was actually having the back pains and he was like, wait, what is this? I don't I don't think this is labor, but I, I don't know. You look very in labor, you're shaking your ass around at me. I know, I'm just like waving it around. Okay, good night, lovely people. Bye-bye. Good morning. Still no baby. No contractions waking me up in the night or anything, so... <sighs> Looks like he's hanging in for a little longer. Time to wake up. Still no baby. Oh, yeah. And I have had no contractions or anything like that all day long. So we did some shopping this morning and now we're going to a fair. If anything's <laughs> gonna get this baby out of me, it'll be walking around a fairground all evening. Oh so we'll see what happens, but otherwise it'll just be a good time. See you guys in the fair. <laughs> Very exciting news! The dresser came! Oh, so cozy. Cozy wozy. <laughs> Gotta wear it for everything. Check it out. All safe in there. Yay! Oh my Yay. god! I'm gonna hold my fingers there to block out his name, but another corner of the nursery is complete. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's all come together so beautifully. What's in the drawers? Of here? Yeah. Well, nothing right now. We get oh, to what? finally put stuff in drawers. Well, should we just come back when we're going to do that then? Right now. Just Let's do it. We'll be back. <laughs> and this will be full. Clothes are going in. We have all like the newborn stuff in our bathroom still. So this is going to be like zero to three months up here. Aquaphor, Honest All Purpose Bond, that's great for skin, rashes, dusting powder to keep things dry, diaper rash cream, love this one, and Soothing Bottom Wash. I've actually not tried this product, but it sounds pretty nice. There's only one little spot in the nursery that has not been completed, and that is where his little bookshelves are gonna go. We're not gonna get those delivered until September. We already knew that, so they won't be here before he's here. That's fine, obviously. But all of the key pieces that we really wanted to have when he first gets here are here. We have our rocking chair, we have our dresser, which is a changing table so we can change him. And I could not be happier about it. This, I'll show you the wall where the bookshelves are gonna go so you can kind of envision like what it will all look like when it's finished. This is the wall where the little bookshelves will go. Just two short bookshelves over here under the cute animal prints you guys probably remember from a recent episode. And it'll match the same exact lid as the changing table and as the little nightstand side table thing for the armchair. So it's going to look really cute. You can kind of picture how it's all going to come together. This little laundry basket there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it all happened just in time. Bobby, come look! Wow. wow! What do you think? It's all good. It's all good? Yeah. Hey, guess what? This baby's still not here. <laughs> and so, I am just taking today to be completely lazy, which I have not done in years. And I'm going to touch up my grays because they're coming in hot. Waiting for someone to save you. Left me all alone. I want to tell you something new. Looking good. <laughs> Didn't really style it, just give it a quick blow dry and see the color, but it's all fresh and clean and should keep me good and grayless for a month or something like that. Anyway, it's nice to have fresh hair going into the birth, I guess. <laughs> what else can I do to pass the time while I wait? Hmm. Daddy, I just got home from a haircut. You both have fresh hair today. That's right. So fresh and so clean. Ready to clean. meet our son. Looking our best. <laughs> we are going to the grocery store, not just any grocery store, the very healthy, bougie grocery store because I am starting my breastfeeding diet now. I did this last time when I had Bowie. So I'm going dairy-free, soy-free, egg-free, gluten-free. I think that's all the free. Yes, that's going on in this diet. Oh, sleep free. <laughs> sleep free will be coming up next. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be a really strict diet, but I think it's going to be well worth it. Oh, so, yeah.
shreds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling good with that little shop we just did. It wasn't a little shop, it was a big shop. So I'm just gonna like test everything out, see what I like. So next time when the baby's here, I don't have to go with Josh to the grocery store. He'll just know what to get, um, like we did last time. We'll show you guys some of the things that we got when we get back to the house. Okay, bye, 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 bye. bye. All right, we've just unpacked all the groceries, reorganized the pantry. Doesn't look very organized still. I know it's not aesthetically pleasing. This is not a Pinterest worthy pantry, but it's functional. This is some go-to breakfast options for me. And then I also love these muffins. This is my little snack tub because I have a really bad sweet tooth and I love like indulging late at night. Um, so I got some sour candy that is gluten free and I got some dairy free vegan um, chocolate butter cups, peanut butter cups. Um, what else? Lots of nuts, tons of nuts and dried fruit. I got some gluten free crackers to have with either peanut butter or I'm also gonna try um, this cream cheese spread. I also got granola, which could be a breakfast or a snack, obviously. And then I'm gonna eat it with either this yogurt from a brand called So Delicious, but I also found this brand, Kite Hill, which had a lot of dairy alternatives. So I'm gonna try their yogurt out as well. It's almond milk based. Ricotta cheese, veal life, Parmesan cheese that I can try with pasta. Plant-based cheese, not my favorite. So I wanted to just have options on hand, but I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna go. And then I got this plant-based just egg scramble stuff that I can have in one of my little cassava flour wraps with some bacon, plant-based bacon is actually just my preference. I'm still eating meat, but um, I got some tempeh and some plant-based bacon that I can do little like breakfast wraps with. Lots of options. Is it gonna taste as good as like normal food? Probably not. Hopefully it will be worth it. It was definitely so worth it last time. And then I can start reintroducing things this time and test the waters with him a little bit once everything is cleared from my system. Wish me luck. It's hard to commit to a diet like this, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, how are we? It has just occurred to me that I was meant to film um, the fact that we're having a tornado shelter put in today. Tennessee can get some pretty nasty storms, including tornadoes, and our house doesn't have or didn't have any kind of shelter. Um, so this year, at the beginning of the year, when it was like storm season, um, we were just kind of hiding in the pantry. It only happened a couple of times, but it was enough for us to be like, maybe we should do something about that. Hi. Oh, the bow. So the guys are all finished with our tornado shelter. Feel really good about this. I'm glad it's done before the baby's here. Just a little extra level of protection. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Safe? Yeah. Good. Come on, cutie. Happy? Yeah. I think it's amazing. Let's hope we don't really have to test it. This is a jack, so if the house was to fall, you can lift three tons. And all these stairs come out to make extra room too, if you want. It'll fit our family in it comfortably. Wouldn't want to live in it. No. But that's not the point. Tennessee life. Wee! Check out our new car. <laughs> Morning, it's the big day. I just had a coffee and I wrote a little letter to Bowie. Here it is. I know everybody says your heart's gonna expand and it'll be like you can't imagine a life without that next child is in your family and all of that kind of stuff. And I know that that's gonna be true and we're so excited and we can't wait to meet him, but I just want my little girl to know how special she is. She made us mom and dad, you know? Um, and I don't want her to ever feel like, like we're not hers. She is our best friend and the three of us have just been through so much together.
especially over the past year and a half, of course, with this pandemic and everything and moving our whole lives and everything. She's just best kid in the world. And she has been our rock in so many ways. So I just wanted to write her a letter before her brother's here these last couple hours and let her know how much I'm thinking of her and how special she is. She's not allowed to come to the hospital. Kids aren't allowed to come visit. And I'm going to be there, you know, laid up in bed post-surgery for two days. And I'm going to miss her a lot. This has been what it is for the last few days. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just feeling a lot of feels. And happiness and joy and excitement is all part of it, I swear. But right now I just can't stop thinking about Bowie. I'm going to miss her so much and I can't believe the next time I see her. I'm going to be introducing her to her little brother. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so grateful but so scared. Um, so hopefully it all goes well. I have to get ready. <laughs> I have to wake Josh up and get ready to go to the hospital. Um, do something with this situation. <laughs> um, and give her one last squeeze before we go to the hospital for a couple days. I think I'm also just sad because we've never left her overnight ever with anyone. Okay, we'll see you in a second right before we leave for the hospital. And then it's on, it's go time. Okay, this is it, this is it. We're running behind as per usual. We're going to the hospital, it's go time. He's gonna be here in just a few hours. We are not gonna be here for the next two weeks. So we love you guys, we appreciate all your love and support, and we will see you with a baby in our arms. Uh, <laughs> and it will be our baby, not one we dislike. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye, thank you.